The Queen witnessed and participated in so much history over her long life and reign. And as we prepare to commemorate the 21st anniversary of 9-11, we're talking, taking a look at how Queen Elizabeth responded to those attacks. CBS 2's Tony Aiello spoke with a man who escorted the Queen on her only visit to Ground Zero. It was her third and final visit to New York City in 2010. Queen Elizabeth's tour guide at Ground Zero was Port Authority official Glenn Guzzi. She was bright and inquisitive. She knew how to make anyone feel at ease in her presence, but she was just a very warm, interested person. What was her mood about visiting there? What do you remember about that day? Both she and Prince Philip were very inquisitive in terms of what our challenges were, really focusing on the human aspect of the toll it took on New York and the country. The attacks killed almost 100 of her subjects and clearly deeply affected the Queen, who broke protocol in 2001, ordering that the Star Spangled Banner be sung during a service at St. Paul's Cathedral in London and during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. To have that respect paid back to the United States, and such a dark day for the United States, I think is just, you know, hugely uh, important. Guzzi has escorted many members of the royal family visiting the site and attended a garden party at Buckingham Palace with the Queen. She and her entire family, including the now King Charles, had always had a deep appreciation for New York. She clearly appreciated Guzzi, including him on her 2016 list of honors, an MBE award for services to UK-US relations. Just will always be eternally grateful for an individual who allowed me to become a bit more familiar with her. Her connection to New York and grief over the attacks enshrined in Lower Manhattan at a park she dedicated in 2010 the Queen Elizabeth II September 11th Garden. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And stay with CBS 2 News for more on the passing of Queen Elizabeth. CBS 2's Christine Johnson and Ali Bauman are providing live reports from Windsor Castle and Buckingham Palace.